while we're answering that, let me perhaps then shift the discussion slightly into a related area of the transition, and that is of the role of leadership in this. I find in our work it's almost impossible to separate the role of strategy and the role of leadership. In fact, in over 90% of cases, even the best strategies, the most well thought through ideas, commercial models, um, product innovations will never see the light of day unless leadership is willing to see reality with a new perspective, to deploy a, a, a different mindset. In fact, one of our audience members has, has put such a wonderful question together and posted it to us about what perspectives will be needed uh, as a, in, in this phase or as we move along the energy transition. Um, and I'd like to open it up to both yourself, Amy, and then to Amit in terms of let's talk a little bit about perspective in the context of leadership. Leaders need to have not just a long view, but let's call it a holistic view. Imagine that you're sitting like I often am these days, squinched up right next to your computer screen and you can only see a little bit on it, right? Draw back, draw back over the situation. This has been discussed in business literature as um, taking the, the view from the, the stands or the courts of a sports scene. If you are down on the field only looking at yourself and the other team, that's all you see. If you can draw back over your business and over the systems in which your business is working, you are much more likely to be able to see one at the edges, what is happening um, and to see the system as a whole and change. So that is one version of having a perspective, um, holistic. A second is having um, what others have called the long view. Um, there's actually a long view foundation based in Silicon Valley. And um, for many years, uh, those people who built very fast computers for us have also urged us to look at the world in a slow way. And that has much to do with climate change. It has much to do with becoming aware of the pace of change of the systems of the earth. Um, so they have asked us over time to think about what it means to be in now. Is now the next quarter? Is now the next three years? Is now the next 10 years? Is now the next 100 or the next 10,000? And when now starts to become the next 100, then you realize that now is not only your now, it's your great grandchildren. Now. You realize that what you have to take care of now is what you might used to have thought of as some legacy far away. I um, mean, that is the beauty and, and the importance of, of taking a long view. Is, is also pacing. What becomes important in the long now is very different than what becomes important in the quarter. And what be, it seems urgent in a quarter starts to be enveloped by what you realize you can do if you think of now as having a longer trajectory. That is, that is really fascinating. I can see the application of this in, 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 in strategy making uh, across the world, not just, not just in Southeast Asia. 